Let me first of all thank the City of London for the invitation to talk at this uh, important event, which, as you said, builds on the UK's energy security uh, ambition and the uh, successes of COP26 last year. Now, obviously, the war in Ukraine has refocused minds on the importance of creating a homegrown, clean energy system to generate energy in the UK for the UK. And that's not just, of course, a matter of decarbonising the economy, vital though that is. It is, in fact, now a matter of national security. The landmark uh, new British energy security strategy makes a series of bold commitments that will put the UK at the forefront of the green energy revolution. To achieve those goals, we need to see huge green investment, which you, the professionals in the financial services sector, will of course be critical to enabling. I know that you appreciate this, and you are already seizing the many opportunities that this provides, using your capital to unleash new technologies and to grow some great successful new industries. Like hydrogen, as we set out in the energy security strategy, low carbon hydrogen has the potential to be our new super fuel. It will be a source of clean energy, which we can produce domestically using British skills, British experience, and UK natural resources. Which is why in that strategy, we've doubled our ambition to up to 10 gigawatts of low carbon hydrogen production capacity by 2030. Last month, you'll have seen that we also published the hydrogen investment package, and that will also help to mobilise further investment into UK production. We have a firm conviction that the UK is well positioned to secure a competitive advantage in hydrogen, and UK companies, I'm pleased to say, are already at the forefront of hydrogen technology development. As uh, only announced earlier this week, we're working with Cadent and Northern Gas Networks to bring 4,000 homes in the north of England onto hydrogen power, which will, of course, slash both emissions and bills. Another area is floating offshore wind. It's an exciting early stage technology that we're supporting to scale up, building on what has been the huge success of the British offshore wind sector. So in the energy security strategy, we also set a new challenging ambition for industry to deliver five gigawatts from floating offshore wind by 2030. And we're investing about 160 million pounds for new large scale ports into manufacturing to help to support this ambition. By stimulating development now, we hope to get costs down faster and we want to build up a competitive, sustainable and UK based supply chain. Now, those are just two examples where the UK is already on the cutting edge. Important advances are also being made in other areas that I could mention, such as CCUS, such as new nuclear, both large scale and in SMRs. And your support in all of those areas is essential to mobilize the finance and to bring what are, I think, exciting new net zero technologies to the market. And that's why I've been really pleased to hear how the city, which has always been a world leader in financial products, has taken green finance to its heart. We want to see more investment targets like NatWest's recent £100 billion for climate and sustainable finance by 2025, or the publication of the comprehensive net zero transition plans there, such as Aviva's recent excellent example. We're trying to do our bit to support you on this journey. Last year, we set up the UK Infrastructure Bank, and that will deploy about 12 billion in capital, 10 billion in guarantees to crowd in private investment for some of these key infrastructure projects. Later this year, we will be updating, uh, publishing an update to the green finance uh, strategy, and this will set out how you, the world's leading financial center, can be the powerhouse between what, behind what I hope will be the green industrial revolution. Now, of course, you are the best judges of the role that you can play, so I really do want to encourage all of you to share your views through the call for evidence that we actually have launched today. And I'm grateful for the work that many of you are already doing, but we all know that we do need to accelerate our ambitions. 
So together, we can capture the opportunity of green markets, we can secure our energy system, and at the same time, we can grow our economy, creating tens of thousands of jobs in the process. So I look forward to working more with you to continue on some of the remarkable progress that's already been made. So thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy the rest of the summit and particularly enjoy the drinks reception. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.